Hi there, and welcome. I'm Dr. Cyanide, and this is my Iron Man project update. Uh, it's been entirely too long since I've gotten a video out, that's on me, but I figure it's a good opportunity to give a real clear update on what my goal is, what I'm shooting for, and where I've been able to get to so far. So what I'm trying to emulate is the forearm rocket seen in Iron Man 2 and the Avengers where the forearm just bristles with a ton of little tiny rockets and I thought it looked super cool. I haven't seen many people actually do this style rocket. Most of them are either Mark 3s or Mark 7s uh, or Mark 42s or 48s or 50s or you get the idea. So nothing in this vintage. Um, where I was before was this guy and this lid. I had cracked the lid problem by mount where it wouldn't sit flush by mounting the hinge directly to the the cover plate itself. So now I could um, I can have the, that whole mechanism attached to there. It works great. And this guy just pokes pokes through like that. Simple, easy and it worked consistently. And after that, I figured, okay, I can refine that print, and I came up with this. Same idea, the two hinge, but I removed the linkage arm and just went straight to the servo. It's, I added mounting holes on this side, and I was going to do a similar thing on this other end, but I just hadn't gotten around to it. This was enough to shoot, show the proof of concept, but it before I could get an update video on this guy out, I had yet another idea. And that brings me to the current version, which I have hooked up to my servo tester. This guy, at least in this stage, reintroduces the linkage arm, but adds a track that it can follow. And if I set that on my arm like that, we can see that it has a, a much more forward um, trajectory. It doesn't rotate up as much as it slides into your face, which I thought was a much cooler design. Um, it has its flaws. The servo arm is too tall. When it's in this position, it would stick out. I could maybe cut it down to size and adjust the slot, but all in all, this was looking pretty promising. I was pretty happy with it. I had the um, mounting holes in the front and the back and thought, you know what? This is good. This might be my final version. Why don't I print six more onto a trial assembly? So that brings me to this guy. This is my opening uh, test assembly where I can stick my arm in and close it. Now I don't have my hinge uh, latching yet because I just didn't get to that point, but you can see this gives a decent feel for what it would actually be like. One thing that um, even though this is really loose, it wasn't meant to be final, it was just to test. Um, one thing I can see is that I actually have a decent amount of room between the rockets where I thought I was going to be super tight. And a smaller, um, a closer fit on the arm will take up some of that slack, but I suspect I've got a little bit more room to play with than I was previously worrying about. The um, other things I found out with this version is that assembling the pins, oh, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet. Part of the reason I tried to design with these um, pins in place is so that it could this whole assembly could be maintained. If you had one of these servos die, you could just pull out this assembly, replace that servo, and stick it back in. Designed to be maintainable and potentially even in the same day that you had a, a problem at a cost um, at either a Comic Con or any sort of event, which really appealed to me, the idea that it could be fixed. I had seen someone else post a video where they had made a beautiful costume 
and after a few runs the servo in their arm died and so they couldn't fix it because they had hot, had to hot glue it in place and it would just completely destroy the costume if they had tried to take it out which it felt so sad like I, and I didn't want that to happen with this design so everything's designed to be maintainable um, I found out that the gaps I have down here are too thin to really um, snake the servo cables through. I'll want to uh, fix that. I also found out that trying to do the pins or even screws straight this way is a bad idea. That it's just too hard to fit a small screwdriver or pair of pliers or anything straight this way in between all of these cracks and just get at what you need and pull it out and put a new one in. Way too much work, way too much hassle. So for the next design, I'm going to have the plates overlap with this frame and screw straight down into it. That should work very, that should work much easier to maintain it and um, should still offer the same strength. The other thing I did is I've got this very fun unique hinge. Rather than a normal like door hinge type thing where you have a bulb sticking out of this end, um, this is all self-contained inside of the frame, and it can sit flush with itself. Now, I could make some refinements to this, but it w is certainly a good proof of concept that this design works, and I really like that. But that's just... That's just nice. Um... This design also showed the shortcoming that while on the servo tested design, it looks like this sticks up a ton. When you actually consider where a um, plane would be, where the it would be having to poke out the armor, this is assuming no thickness on that armor, and it just doesn't stick out very much. So I'm going to have to redesign that later. The one big thing that this um, forearm project taught me is that I need to get a forearm frame in place first before I keep doing any more rockets. I, you know, the rockets are fun. You know, it's fun to see them move. It's fun to get the arcs and all that in place, but it's just not lining up right. And it won't line up right until I know for certain what I'm connecting them to. So for my next update video, I'm going to show an updated arm assembly, and I've started designing some more rockets that I think will go on that, but I really am trying to push those rockets to the back burner until I can get this arm done. I have a lot more confidence that I can do this now, which is huge. Um, and I think in general, I'm going to be more free to work on this than I have been in a while, which is another huge thing. Uh, I just want to shout out that this was a dream I didn't think was going to happen, and I feel like even though I'm making small steps, those small steps towards a dream are really what's making it. Uh, it's really satisfying. I really encourage you guys to do this on your own. If not for this project, chasing your own dream, even if it's just a little step. The, I think that's it for me. If you want to be notified of the next video, I recommend subscribing. It's honestly what that button's there for. Uh, and if you've liked it, you know what to do. If you leave a comment, I will do my best to get back to you and hopefully give a better estimate of when next videos will be out. Anyway, that's all for me. Take care.